Big tournaments are often a way for lesser known players to announce their arrival onto the global scene. By putting in great performances at tournaments such as the Euros or the World Cup, they can showcase their skills to a wider audience and earn a transfer to a bigger and better club. What's more, many great teams enjoyed their finest hours at such tournaments, somehow managing to unexpectedly beat the powerhouses of international football. So, in today's episode, we want to recall the most surprising games of the previous Euro tournaments. With that said, sit back and enjoy, as the title of today's episode is The Most Shocking Moments in Euro History. So, let's first start with the previous European Championship. During the tournament in 2016, the national team of Wales competed in a group with England, Slovakia and Russia, eventually taking first place. In the round of 16, they defeated Northern Ireland 1-0, securing their place in the next stage. During the quarter-finals, Wales had to face one of the tournament favourites in Belgium, who boasted a generation of world-class footballers. However, the Welsh team came out onto the pitch incredibly motivated, and although they went behind in the 13th minute, they went on to not only level the score, but also to win it 3-1, in turn sending the Belgians home. In the semi-finals, Wales faced off against the eventual winners of the tournament in Portugal. Unfortunately, Wales lost 2-0, bringing their Euros adventure to a close. However, looking back, their performance at Euro 2016 was still a great success, and no doubt one of the greatest sporting moments in Welsh football. Now, let's go back a little bit in time, all the way back to 1992. At the time, Yugoslavia were involved in a war in Bosnia and Herzegovina. As such, the decision was made for them to be removed from the tournament. In their place stepped up Denmark. However, when they heard the news, most of the Danish players were already on holiday. Therefore, manager Richard Muller Nelson asked the players to suspend their breaks and arrive prepared at the tournament. In the group stage, the Danes first sent home the tournament favourites in France. Later, they defeated a star-packed Netherlands side, which featured Frank Rijkaard, Ronald Koeman, Frank de Boer and Dennis Bergkamp. In the final, the Danes faced then world champions Germany, completing an almighty achievement, as Kim Vilfort's goal secured the trophy. An interesting backstory to this moment takes us back to before the tournament had even begun. Prior to the summer, Kim Vilfort had returned to his homeland to see his daughter, who was sadly dying of leukemia aged just seven. So, in hindsight, it seemed a fitting tribute to his daughter that he would go on to score the deciding goal in what is still to this day his country's finest sporting hour. Moving forward, it wouldn't be an underdog Euro story without mentioning the remarkable achievements of Greece back in 2004. Before the tournament, the Greeks were not recognised as being a side who had any real chance of winning the competition. However, with a boring yet effective style, they managed to progress all the way to the final. It was there that the Greeks met the tournament host for a second time, Portugal. And even though they managed to beat Portugal in the group stage, few people believed that they would go on and do it for a second time. In what many people considered to be the crowning moments in the careers of legends like Rui Costa and Luis Figo, the Greeks proved that they were no walkovers and that they had their own history to write. Their defensive approach and hard-working nature was enough to secure a 1-0 victory over a star-studded Portugal, leaving the likes of Deco, Cristiano Ronaldo and Luis Figo shell-shocked. It truly was one of the great underdog stories. But what about you? What do you regard as the greatest underdog story in Euro history? Why not have your say? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Well, that concludes today's video. And remember, we're inviting all football fans to join the free browser game footballteamgame.com. Simply follow the link in the description. Apart from that, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.